Indian Ball 6992 says, Day one, in Sprocket, can you please make a sniper tank which has a very long cannon? Today, that is exactly what we are going to try and design and come up with. So, let's get to it. Alright, so starting out, let's go to freeform hulls and make it a big square one. There we go. We're then going to go to fenders and get rid of those. And we're going to go to fuel tank and drop that down to 50 liters, which is pretty much what we do every single time. What are we going to do from there? Well, I guess the tracks don't actually have to be too big uh, in terms of their length uh, or width, actually. So let's go ahead and drop those down to about 400. There we go. Bam! A little bit skinnier. Excellent. Uh, everything else is going to be changed too, and I'm going to go for this type of suspension. Because we're going to do that, I guess uh, I need the return rollers to go up there. There we go, and I want them to fit in between if I can. There we go, so the tracks are essentially going to look a lot like this. Let me go ahead and sort them out so they fit, and I'll be back with you guys once that's done. Okay, so there we go. That is the tracks, and that is essentially how they are going to look. Yes, just like that. Okay, cool. So now, I guess, we're just going to go ahead and move on to the body and try and make something good. I guess it's going to be a lot like the Grill 15, maybe. Okay, so I've sent the body all the way back to there, and I'm going to go and extend this forwards as I go, and I guess as we go, it's going to get skinnier and skinnier and skinnier, uh, and that's just how this is going to work, which, you know what, is actually fine. Let's go ahead and grab these points at the top, and I'm going to do something like this. There we go, and towards the back, I'm actually going to go ahead and raise this up, and I think that's actually sort of fine. Uh, from there, I'm going to go ahead and squidge this guy down a little bit. There we go. And if I can, I want to move it down slightly and forward slightly as well. Um, and that is essentially what it's going to look like. A little bit weird, but I think it's fine. Um, now that I'm looking at it, though, I think we need to drag all of it forwards. Uh, so the these guys up here, the, the mounts, are actually incorporated into the design. Otherwise, it'll look really, really weird. Anyway, go to the sides. There we go. Grab all of those and send it over to here. There we go. All right, what do we think? Is it cool? Is it not cool? I don't know. Okay, so at the back, what are we going to do? Well, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and send this bit inwards just a little bit like so. Uh, I'm then going to extend it backwards just like this. And I think I'm just going to bring this piece up like that. There we go. Um, and that's essentially what the back end is going to look like. We got our sprocket mounts right there, and we got a very large area. A little bit is obviously going to be used for the engines, but most of it is going to be used for space for the gun. Okay, so I am actually going to go ahead and split this piece into two, and all the way back here we are actually going to load this up and extend it upwards a little bit. We're then going to drag these guys backwards slightly like this, and that is exactly where the turret is going to go. Alright, the other thing is, as well, I actually want to be able to uh, not see the mounts. So I'm going to drag all of this upwards a little bit, and that is what it's going to look like. So that we can't see these big boxes that were there before. These things. So yeah, we'll just drag this up until those disappear, and that looks fine to me. Yes. Okay, so wanting to keep this simple, that is essentially all we're going to do. From there, we're going to go to mobility, we're going to go to engine, and we're going to try and sort out the engine pieces. So I like the idea of using these guys. Let's make them a little bit smaller like so. And flip them over. There we go. And these are going to be it. Not much more actually needs to happen here. We'll just go ahead and shove these guys on the front and leave it essentially a lot like that. Yeah. Oh, and I am going to shove these two vent thingamabobbies on here as well, just because I think they look pretty good. Uh, we're also obviously going to need an exhaust of some sort. Don't really know where I want to put it. Uh, I am thinking that we actually shoot it out the sides down here. Uh, but I think that might be really weird. What if we actually have them on the front? That could be even stranger, and I love the idea of it. Oh, and I'm going to angle these guys slightly too, so let's go ahead and just do this. Just a tiny, tiny amount. Drop these guys down so that this mount is in the floor, and honestly, I think that's a-okay. 
Okay, next thing is crew. We're going to go to viewports, and the driver is obviously going to have to go in here somewhere, so they're going to go right there. Uh, structural, I'm actually going to go ahead and attach this guy right behind the driver's viewport like this. And actually, I'm going to do that on both sides. I might just add a driver's view on both sides, even if there isn't going to be a driver in both of them. There's just going to be one driver. Yes. All right, there we go. Yeah, I don't think that looks too bad. And it drives! It does actually currently move, uh, which is awesome, because that's what you want a tank to do, especially if you want it to be useful. <laughs> you want it to move, and it totally does. All right, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time adding a little bit of detail to this, try and make it look a little bit nicer, and then once we've done that, we'll start work on the turret, where we can then add the gun. Okay, so there we go. I've added a bunch of things, uh, such as panels, I've added some ladder bits, and some more ladder bits, and some more panels, and some more ladder bits, and some more panels. That's essentially all we've done. So, what am I going to do from here? Well, I guess we're actually just going to go ahead and add the turret, so let's get to it. Let's go ahead and shove this guy directly on here, there we go. Obviously, the diameter has to be small enough to fit on there, and I need to come up with a design that looks good, and also allows for a really long cannon to be added. Alright, so something that I really, 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 really do like uh, is a really round turret. So we're gonna go out, and every time we go out, we're gonna go in. Once we go in, we can obviously extend it again, and go out again, and then we gotta go again and again and again and again and again, until we have a very round shape, which is exactly what this is. Kind of. Almost. There we go, if we drop that inside there, that is fine. On the rear, we're gonna go ahead and drag this guy backwards slightly. Uh, not too much, there we go. Extend it, bring it inwards, and I think we'll leave it like that. Kind of. Uh, from there, I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of these, and all of those, and all of this. There we go. And I'm gonna drag it down a little bit. We're also, actually, gonna smooth it out as well. There you go. Kind of crazy, but I'm sure that's fine. Let's go to the rear of this as well. Uh, and I'm actually thinking of extending this guy backwards just a little bit, just like this. Go ahead and squeeze it in just a little bit like that, and squeeze it down like so. If I then move this guy upwards, I think that's kind of what I want it to look like. Okay, cool. So, from there, we're gonna go to the hull. There you go. We're gonna go ahead and uh, switch into edges. We're gonna split it. We're then gonna go to this edge, and we're gonna split it again. And we're gonna go to this edge, and we're gonna split it again. That means that we've got this piece right in the center that can actually go backwards. It seems like a really weird idea to do that. But don't worry about it too much. In fact, actually, let's just extend these guys out forwards a little bit. And if we do this, it'll probably end up actually looking pretty good. So extend it again, there we go, and do this. Alright, very nice. I am going to make these a lot shorter, or smaller, I guess. So do something like that. And then we're going to put a gun in the center. Ooh, would you look at that yet? Alright, nice. Something like that, I think is actually fine. Good. Okay, so what did we say at the start? Uh, that it is going to have to have a really, really long barrel. So, let's start off with a 3 meter long barrel. There we go, that is actually pretty good. We're then going to add an extra meter onto there, and I might even make it longer than that. Let's go to 2 meters. There we go, that is an extremely long barrel. It is indeed, but it should do the job. So, let's get ourselves a singular gunner's sight. There we go, we should be off to the side and lower. That does mean we won't really be able to see an awful lot to the right-hand side, but that's okay. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, good. So, uh, let's go to this. There we go. I think I want to add a bit of a round bit to the top of this, if I can. So, grab all of that. There you go. Extend it a little bit. We're going to bring it in. Just a tiny touch. And, I don't know, I guess leave it like that. That's probably fine. I'll do something like this too. Yeah, there we go. I don't really like how round that is. So if we can do the smooth angle a little bit less, that'd be great. So it's still smooth around the sides, but it's not smooth on the top. Which is definitely what I wanted. 
Okay, let me add some details to that, and then we'll get some ammunition, we'll get some armor on this thing, and we will upgrade the engine, and then hopefully we can test it out. Okay, so don't ask me how everybody gets in and out. I actually think that we are going to go ahead and move these guys off to the side. And then if people want to get in and out, they can do it through the back. Because the engine obviously isn't back here, the engine is in the front. If anyone needs to get out, they can just jump out the back end. I've added some little details up here, obviously, and it honestly doesn't look too bad. We are going to go ahead and increase the basket space so that there is actually room up there. Armor thickness is going to go all the way up. And uh, we are actually going to add some armor up here, but not very much. Um, yeah... I want to be able to, like, outrange people if I can, but I don't know how this is really going to work. Because uh, I didn't want to give it too much armor. I wanted it to be or remain quite light, if possible. But I don't really think that's going to happen. So let's just do the front ends. There we go. Do this bit right here and increase that all the way up to 120. Down here, we're going to go ahead and have it be... 100 and then down here on the front it is going to be more like 50 or 65 I guess that'll work there you go and then that'll be 45 I'm going to sort out this area just a little bit this is going to be like what did I just do whoa 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 whoa, whoa. what did I just do position what is this I've never clicked that button in my life what in the world uh, right, okay, that's going to be like 45, there we go. And then as we get towards the back, it's going to be even less. So 30, the rear isn't going to have any armor, but the rear of the turret and the side of the turret is. So we're going to go from here, back over, including the bits at the top. There we go, including the back piece, if possible, is going to be about 70. Okay, that's it, we're done. Oh, you know what? We actually still need to add some ammunition, too. So let's go into ammo storage, grab some of this. And yes, it's going to take up loads of the gun. Um, or loads of the turrets, because it can. So there you go. I'm actually going to go ahead and flip this over so it looks a bit more normal. There we go. Push it up, push it forwards, and we'll leave it there. Shoots every three seconds. That is pretty good. Yep. Okay, I've just smacked this livery on it, and honestly, I think it does look pretty good. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to increase the brightness. Saturation is going to stay pretty much where it is. And the hue is going to stay like that too. Grime. Yeah, honestly, this looks really nice. Uh, we will make it German. Because it's a lot like the Grill 15 uh, from World of Tanks. And we'll just shove that on there. There you go. Okay, so I've increased the basket space actually quite a bit. Uh, it currently weighs almost 17 tons. If we're going to go to mobility, go to engine, I'm actually going to increase the amount of cylinders we have, but not really the displacement, which should allow us to rev up actually really high. So we're going to do something like this. There we go. Because I want it to be quite fast so we can uh, move around easier. Yeah, this is not bad. Not bad at all. Another thing I'm going to do is actually change to twin transmission because that'll make it easier to, like, actually maneuver once we are driving. It is going to increase, um, it's actually going to increase the weight, but it's still, it's still fine. Alright, cool. So, let's spawn in a King Tiger really quickly and see if we can kill it. Oh, okay, didn't go through. That did go through, but didn't kill it, and that killed it. Interesting. Okay, we have a challenge for the tank. Essentially, we are actually against five enemies, uh, four of which are normal tiger tanks, and one of which is a king tiger. So, let's get ourselves into a defensive-ish position and get ready to hopefully kill all of them. Okay, our first enemy has been spotted. Let's go ahead and take him out straight away. As we see them, we are going to have to try and destroy them because uh, that's how this works. All right, there we go. We shot another one. Sniper tank is totally working like a sniper tank right now. This is insane. Okay, we've lost sight of that guy, but I don't actually see anyone else. Oh, there's a guy. That is the King Tiger, so this is... Oh. All right, we killed him straight away. Let's change. Fire! Oh, he's starting to shoot at me now. 
Oh, King Tiger's down, and last one right here. He's dead too. Honestly, this thing, really, really good. Really, really good. Let's try that again, just to see if it was a fluke or not. Uh, we'll get in a defensive position again. Uh, all of the enemy tanks are able to shoot at me. They all have ammunition. Uh, none of them are just holes, so... Yeah, this is crazy. Alright, someone did just shoot at me. I don't know where they are. This time I'm going to be a little bit more ballsy. And go in a little bit. Alright, so someone is shooting from around there somewhere. I hate it because I can't see him. Alright, we've been shot. And we've died. So if we get shot, we are pretty much dead. Especially because our engine is in the front. Hmm. Yeah, so essentially, you've got to get yourself in a little dug-in position. Uh, just like these train tracks right here. And then you've got to shoot first. Because if the enemy shoots first, I don't know. You die, I suppose. So we're going to wait here until we can see an enemy. The AI has a bit of an advantage because they can see through trees. Whereas I can't see through trees. So uh, that's a thing. But um, yeah, we'll keep scouting. If we see an enemy, we will shoot them. Oh, there's one. Oh, it bounced off. He just about managed to escape me there. Is that an enemy? It looks like it is. All right, tiger down. It's going through the normal tiger armor very easily. Oh, he, he says shooting a tiger and it doesn't go through. There you go. Oh, there's another one. There we go. Yeah, so as long as you catch it at the right angle, these guys just die. That is awesome. All right, so we've killed three. There are two remaining, one of which being the King Tiger. Which means that we have a very armored enemy somewhere on the somewhere on the battlefield. Oh, his turret just fell off. Interesting. Yeah, I don't see anything else, so I'm actually going to go ahead and advance. Probably a bad idea, though. Oh, shots fired! There is an enemy tank on my left-hand side. Hopefully our speed... Ah, oh, our speed doesn't help us there. So the King Tiger did actually kill us. Honestly, I think this tank does well. It does. It's just you have some situations where you're out in the open and you will get shot. And if you do get shot, you do die. However, if you shoot first, you totally win. So, yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas on what we should build next. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.